This is the old neighborhood of 278 uh, apartments that we are doing the raise. And already the rebuild, as you see, is the first, the second, and the third out of total of 14 uh, buildings that will be eventually in the end of it. This is the first stage that we are taking off, 100 apartments, and then we will do the second part. This house, the first one, was finished about uh, eight, nine months ago, and uh, it's 25 floors, 100 apartments in total, which is four in each floor. So we put 20 residents from the old one in the new house, and 80 apartments were sold in the free market. 20 in this one, in this one, in every a building. In total, we have 14 buildings. It's the 280 that we evacuate. Okay. Okay. So it, everything goes by measure. So you are the person who approached the community, or the community approached you, or is the council? In, what, what we did here is that I approached the municipality in order to allow me to do this project. This is the first one in Israel that was approved in a private uh, channel, okay? This is the first one and the biggest one in Israel, 1,400. As you see, this one is already uh, completed. The second one will be in a year. So you removed and they are free of charge? Yes. Free, so you won't pay anything? Don't and pay for, nothing. For the rest of them, they they don't pay nothing. And they also don't leave the house until the house why is ready. So this is why we called it, first of all, build and then evacuate. What is urban and renewal? According to our uh, point of view, it means that there is an old and we want to make something new. And we have to make sure that they are uh, getting all the efforts and all the help from the same source in order to succeed in the future. New and old must be together. We invite all the people to come night after night and day after day to understand what we want to do in the neighborhood. We show them the plans, we consult with them, we make sure that they took a lawyer to, to represent them. We ask them what they are looking for in the new neighborhood. All this is very new in Israel, that somebody is coming and doing all these efforts. I believe that the initiator must be involved also with the community. And we don't do it for only a month or two. We are already four years in this place, getting very touch and close touch to the neighborhood. We made a very deep survey in the whole neighborhood, exactly how many kids go to school and how many coming to this place for activity. What do they need in public area and everything. This is a private uh, initiative that did all this survey. The population and the demography of, uh, the, the, of this neighborhood shows that young people are leaving the neighborhood because they don't find here no schools, no opportunity for nothing to continue. So this is why they are leaving the neighborhood. This, this plan this is an empty land that belongs to the government. It's about 20 dunam. What we did is to uh, go house to house and to check its condition. The orange is, we thought it's good to be raised. The blue will remain. The yellow with the pink is to uh, enforcement of the houses. Uh, reinforce the houses, as we explained to you, National Line 38, okay? So in this way, not everything is going for raise and rebuild. Everything will be depending the condition of the houses. And this is how we thought in the end, the new neighborhood would look. In the another place in the neighborhood, there is an empty space of a 20 dunam. Instead of this, the government decided to enlarge it just a little bit more and here to take off 
two buildings. In total, 34 apartments. And the plan will be like that. One, two, three, four buildings with a small commercial center. I said, stop. Again, it will be to waste the land. Instead of this, let's make it much, much bigger. Let's use the empty land in order to evacuate 258. So eventually, I will give uh, an answer for 400 families. That's, that is how it would look in the future. According to my plan, and I called it Pipeline Project, it's after building a community programs, yes, and then family, social services, and health programs, we can build this pipeline that from early childhood until the college programs, the people and the, the kids in this neighborhood will have a much, much better future. And you cannot think only about building just the houses, you must provide these things also. You must understand that in the first year that I started the project in here, and I went to the municipality in order to ask them a question, or, or, I, or I show them the time, once you get involved, everybody says, no, sir, you cannot, you cannot come in. You, you cannot, uh, we cannot give you this information. You, you cannot be a partner of this. They were suspicious a lot. Because they said, it's again, it's only an initiator. He wants to come to make money to build buildings and to go. And I told them, please give me a chance. When you go back to your countries, you must uh, encourage people like me that would like to make changes, that they will get all the support from you. If they are working okay that you see, not one month, two months, you open office maybe, and you want to make something quick. But I'm here already four years, and I spend millions, and I don't have yet a permission for a single apartment. This neighborhood is already 50 years in the same condition, and it's going backward. No school, no banks, nothing. So why, if somebody coming from the private section and he wants to make the change, you must welcome him. Now it's changed, finally, because they saw I will not go until I will finish this project. So they say, okay, we believe you, we will give you a chance now to work with you together. The reason why to do it, I'm not doing it because I'm not work, want to make a profit. All those plans that you saw now, all of them is, will provide quite enough profit to initiator. So the problem is that, that initiator, even though they know that they will make the profit in the end of the day, they are not willing to start it in this kind of project. They prefer to go to do the conventional projects. Simple. Why to spend years? and aggravation to make a profit. If we can make profit today on a regular land, that's it. So, so profit it is in any way that you look at it. More and more companies will do what I do. They will understand that it's worth that for them to invest maybe more in the beginning in order to get this project. Because when you will, that, that is the answer for tomorrow. It is true that I born in this neighborhood. And it, for me, I see it like uh, it's my own private baby. But I've been already in many cities in Israel. And also, I would love to go outside of Israel. Because the principle, is, for me, as an initiator, is to make this change. My only goal, my only intention, my only desire is to make the plans, to make the changes, and to bring the official stamp, you can go ahead. From that part, to make it actually, I don't care. I gave it to companies to build it. If it's one company, two companies, I don't care. I believe that the government in every country, if they will be serious enough, they will have the funds to help and to bring those people the bridges 
they need in order for them to live normally in, in everywhere. There is no other solution. 